Hey, Center, Horizon 2207. Got time for a question? Horizon Air 2207, good. Hey, just wondering if you have any uh, aircraft at our 10 o'clock uh, out over the coast um, that you're aware of? Kind of some interesting looking uh, lights out there. Not satellites, but maybe aircraft. Uh, how far out? Because I do have an aircraft that you're 10 to 9 o'clock and about 120 miles out. Possibly, yeah. It looks like at, at least four, though. Something's flying. It's not satellites because they're, uh, they're changing direction. Um, and it's, yeah. This, this strange looking. I've, I've seen this uh, a few times over the last month in the same area. Horizon Air 2207, Roger. How far out are your 10 o'clock in? Uh, are they at a similar altitude as you? It's really hard to tell. Uh, they seem quite far and probably the same altitude or higher. Roger, thanks for the report. Thank you. Starlink. No, it's not Starlink, I promise. I know what that looks like. Medevac, one Lima Fox, did you make it over? Oh, yeah, sorry, I thought I checked in already. Medevac, uh, 661 Lima Fox, uh, 10.4 climbing, 15,000, heading 180. Medevac, one Lima Fox, Cedric, Eugene, climbing, maintain 16,000, do you say 3027? All right, Direct Eugene, uh, climb, maintain 16,327 on the meter? 3027, make over. 3727, thanks. 6611. 258, right, 2207. Seattle Center, right, 2207 is liable. 254 to 75, mission 240. Right, then 2207, Seattle Center, from Via Timbers 3, rival, landing west. For Timbers 3024. Send me the Timbers 3, rival, right, 2207. Yeah, 596. 596, Is there any military activity out straight ahead of us? You know, 1596, no, uh, we're not seeing anything. Uh, I had another one reported like 30,000 feet in the Eugene area. We're not sure what it is. Yeah, there's lots of movement out there. 1596, yeah, they're, they're looking into it. And where is that at for 661 the box? 661 Lima Fox shot, uh, okay, bye. You know, to 1596, does it still look like it's in the Eugene area? Yeah, just straight west of Eugene. I mean, it's, we're seeing three or four targets. You know, they're all altitudes up and down. It's pretty crazy. You know, 1596, does it look like it's about at the, uh, at your altitude at level 260? Uh, I, there was some at 30, probably. I mean, they're shooting away up, I, we say maybe up to the 50s, it looks like. 1596, thanks. Medivac 1 Lima Fox, did you copy? Yeah, I heard it. We'll be looking. 661 Lima Fox. Thanks, dude. I've got a whole way in. This is error 2207, thanks. Class A35, do you see any uh, lights or aircraft movement out here at like 3 o'clock? There, um, I have a couple aircraft reporting it. Uh, Alaska E35, stand by. Okay, 35, Roger, thank you. And uh, you can contact Seattle Center 125.8 today. 125.8, thanks, yeah. You know, 1596, send a maintain 10,000. Send a maintain 10,000, yeah, 1596. Seattle SK 835 is checking on with you in the descent out of uh, 250 for 240. You call on Alaska 835, Seattle Center, across one side mile southwest of Newburgh at maintain 10,000 at 250 knots. Portland with Timbers 3019er, I'm sorry, 3024. Okay, 15 south of Newburgh at 10 and 250 for Alaska 835. Medevac 1 Lima Fox Shot, Cedar North Bend Airport. Direct North Bend Airport. Uh, and is there traffic actually out about uh, our 2 to 3 o'clock? About, I don't know, 20, 30 miles? Medevac 1 Lima Fox Shot, no. Is that that uh, 
to four different lights going up and down. I'm getting a few reports, but uh, you're seeing it right in front of you now, too, as well? Uh, it's 2 to 3 o'clock off, uh, yeah, about 2 to 3 o'clock from our position. Looks about 20 miles going in circles. Medivac 1, Lima Fox, uh, yeah, we're not seeing anything, getting lots of different reports out there, uh, some at 30, some all the way up to 50,000, about three or four different lights. Does it look like they're around your altitude now? Uh, no, there's one way up high and one about my altitude, um, moving in like like a circle, like a corkscrew pattern. Medivac 1, Lima Fox, at Roger. Medivac 1, Lima Fox, I'm just looking into this a little bit more. Could you give me uh, an, another uh, more accurate report, please? All right, I'm, I'm uh, visually have eyes on what looks like an aircraft strobe that's at my 2 o'clock and 22 miles at my uh, altitude. I'm actually showing him on TCAS. Do you see that one? Medivac 1, Lima Fox, I do not. Does an Apollo discretion maintain 1-4000? Uh, uh, Senate maintain one four thousand medevac six six one on the box shot. He looks like he's uh, moving towards. It looks like it's moving towards the north. Uh, like I said, twenty two twenty two and a half miles off my right wing. Medevac six six one on the box. Medevac one on the box shot. Thank you. And center medevac six six one on the box. Medevac one on the box shot. Go ahead. Just had another one show up uh, about my. Uh, 1 o'clock, uh, about a 1,000 feet high, zipping towards us and then back out towards the ocean. It's red red in color, um, moving at extreme speeds. I don't I don't even know how to describe how fast it's moving. 661 on the box. Medical Nimfox, Roger. Uh, you are cleared to maneuver as necessary. I left and right to avoid uh, the UFO out there. And uh, all the uh, reports you give us are uh, good information. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Yep. Medivac 1, Lima Fox, any, uh, any chance you're able to film any of that? We're trying right now on the Fox Trot. It's, it's weird. It's a red circular shape, and it keeps zipping out towards the ocean and then coming back in about, I don't know, 20 miles or closer to us, and then it zips back out of the ocean, and we can't see it. Uh, one Lima Fox. Thank you. Medivac 1, Lima Fox Shot, uh, any chance I can throw you my number, and if you get a video of or a picture, you can uh, send it us way. There's a lot of controllers here pretty interested in seeing, seeing what you're looking at there. Yeah, let me get a uh, piece of paper real quick. Hang on one second.